British Standard Whitworth is one of a number of imperial unit-based screw thread standards which use the same hexagonal bolt head and nut sizes, the others being British Standard Fine Thread and British Standard Cycle. These three are collectively called Whitworth threads. History, see also Screw Thread History of Standardization, the Whitworth thread was the world's first national screw thread standard, devised and specified by Joseph Whitworth in 1841. Until then, the only standardization was what little had been done by individual people and companies, with some companies in-house standards spreading a bit within their industries. Whitworth's new standard specified a 55-a-degree thread angle and a thread depth of 0.640327p and a radius of 0.137329p, where p is the pitch. The thread pitch increases with diameter in steps specified on a chart. The Whitworth thread system was later to be adopted as a British standard to become British Standard Whitworth. An example of the use of the Whitworth thread is the Royal Navy's Crimean War gunboats. These are the first instance of mass production techniques being applied to marine engineering as the following quotation from the obituary from the Times of January 24, 1887 to Sir Joseph Whitworth shows. The Crimean War began, and Sir Charles Napier demanded of the Admiralty 120 gunboats, each with engines of 60 horsepower, for the campaign of 1855 in the Baltic. There were just 90 days in which to meet this requisition, and, short as the time was, the building of the gunboats presented no difficulty. It was otherwise however with the engines, and the Admiralty were in despair. Suddenly, by a flash of the mechanical genius which was inherent in him, the late Mr. John Penn solved the difficulty, and solved it quite easily. He had a pair of engines on hand of the exact size. He took them to pieces and he distributed the parts among the best machine shops in the country telling each to make 90 sets exactly in all respects to the sample. The orders were executed with unfailing regularity, and he actually completed 90 sets of engines of 60 horsepower in 90 days a euro a feat which made the great continental powers stare with wonder, and which was possible only because the Whitworth standards of measurement and of accuracy and finish were by that time thoroughly recognized and established throughout the country. An original example of the gunboat type engine was raised from the wreck of the SS Xango by the Western Australian Museum. On disassembly, all its threads were shown to be of the Whitworth type. With the adoption of the SW by British railway lines, many of which had previously used their own standard both for threads and for bolt head and nut profiles, and improving manufacturing techniques, it came to dominate British manufacturing. In the USA, BSW was replaced when steel bolts replaced iron, but was still being used for some aluminium parts as late as the 1960s and 1970s when metric-based standards replaced the imperial ones. American Unified Course was originally based on almost the same imperial fractions. The unified thread angle is 60 a degree and is flat in crests. From one quarter in up to one and one half an in, thread pitch is the same in both systems except that the thread pitch for the one half a in bolt is 12 threads per inch in BSW versus 13 TPI in the UNC. Thread form. The form of a Whitworth thread is based on a fundamental triangle with an angle of 55 a degree at each peak and valley. The sides are at a flank angle of I equals 27.5 a degree to the perpendicular to the axis. Thus, if the thread pitch is P, the height of the fundamental triangle is h equals p slash 2 a euro tan a euro i equals 0 0.9604910 a euro p. However, the top and bottom one a six of each of these triangles is cut off, so the actual depth of thread is 2 a 3 of that value, or h equals p slash 3 a euro tan a euro i equals 0 0.6403273 a euro p. The peaks are further reduced by rounding them with a 2 a, 90 a degree ai, equals 180 a degree a 55 a degree equals 125 a degree circular arc. This arc has a height of e equals ha euro shine a euro i slash 12 equals 0 0.0739175690 a euro p and a radius of r equals e slash, 1 a shine a euro i, equals 0 0.1373290 a euro p. Comparison of standards. The British Standard Fine Standard has the same thread angle as the BSW, 
but has a finer thread pitch and smaller thread depth. This is more like the modern mechanical screw and was used for fine machinery and for steel bolts. The British Standard Cycle Standard which replaced the Cycle Engineers Institute Standard was used on British bicycles and motorcycles. It uses a thread angle of 60 a degree compared to the Whitworth 55 a degree and very fine thread pitches. To simplify matters the term hexagon will be used in this paragraph to denote either bolt head or nut. Whitworth markings refer to the bolt diameter rather than the distance across the flats of the hexagon as in other standards. Confusion also arises because BSF hexagon sizes can be one size smaller than the corresponding Whitworth hexagon. This leads to instances where a spanner marked 7 16 BSF is the same size as one marked 3 8 W. In both cases the spanner jaw width of 0.710 in, the width across the hexagon flat, is the same. However, in World War II the size of the Whitworth hexagon was reduced to the same size as the equivalent BSF hexagon purely to save metal during the war, and they never went back to the old sizes afterwards. Thus it is today uncommon to encounter a Whitworth hexagon which takes the nominally correct spanner. Spanners in this case may be marked 7 16 BS to indicate that they have a jaw size of 0.710 in and are designed to take either the 7 16 BS W or 7 16 BSF hexagon. The British Association screw thread standard is sometimes classed with the Whitworth standard fasteners because it is often found in the same machinery as the Whitworth standard. However it is actually a metric based standard that uses a 47.5 degree thread angle and has its own set of head sizes. BA threads have diameters of 6 mm and smaller, and were and still are particularly used in precision machinery. The Whitworth 55 degree angle remains commonly used today worldwide in form of the 15 British standard pipe threads defined in ISO 7, which are commonly used in water supply, cooling, pneumatics, and hydraulic systems. These threads are designated by a number between 1 16 and 6 that originates from the nominal internal diameter in inches of a steel pipe for which these threads were designed. These pipe thread designations do not refer to any thread diameter. Other threads that use the Whitworth 55 degree angle include brass threads, British Standard Conduit, Model Engineers, and British Standard Copper. Current usage the widely used British standard pipe thread, as defined by the ISO 228 standard, uses Whitworth standard threads. Even in the United States, personal computer liquid cooling components use the G104 thread from the series. Nearly all current still cameras accept a one-quarter UNC thread in their tripod base plate though the UNC is close enough to Whitworth that it will fit, and many motion picture cameras accept a 3-8 UNC and, again, the Whitworth is close enough to fit, while a 5 8 UNC thread is the accepted standard for tripod mounted land surveying equipment, and, once again, the Whitworth will fit. The Leica thread mount used on rangefinder cameras and on many enlarging lenses is 117 or 32 inches by 26 turns per inch Whitworth, an artifact of this having been developed by a German company specializing in microscopes and thus equipped with tooling capable of handling threads in inches and in Whitworth. The 5 32 Whitworth threads have been the standard Meccano thread for many years and it is still the thread in use by the French Meccano company. Stage lighting suspension bolts are most commonly 3 8 and 1 half BSW. Companies that initially converted to metric threads have converted back after complaints that the finer metric threads increase the time and difficulty of setup, which often takes place at the top of a ladder or scaffold. Historical misuse British Morris and MG engines from 1923 to 1955 were built using metric threads but with bolt heads and nuts dimensioned for Whitworth spanners and sockets. The background for this was that the engines were produced using machine tools of a previously French owned company that was set up for metric production. For the average British motorist to be able to service his car, the bolt heads had to fit imperial sized spanners. In the 2011 movie Cars 2 by Disney slash Pixar, the vital clue to the discovery of the villain, Sir Miles Axlerod, is that he uses Whitworth bolts. Although Axlerod does not precisely resemble any real car, he seems most closely to match the original Range Rover classic. 
In reality, early model Range Rovers used parts with imperial dimensions, although the photograph of the villain's engine is virtually identical to the later 3.9-liter single plenum Rover V8. See also, other thread standards. References Bibliography, British Standards Institution Parallel Screw Threads of Whitworth Form, British Standard 84, Second Rev, Londona British Standards Institution, 66p. Aberg, E. Jones, F. D., Hussein, M. Macaulay, C. J., Rifle, H. H. and Heald, R. M. Machinery's Handbook A reference book for the mechanical engineer, designer, manufacturing engineer, draftsman, toolmaker, and machinist, 28th ed., New York Industrial Press, ISBN 978-0-8311-2800-5, PA1858-1860, external links, Spanner Jaw Sizes Additional Information and Spanner Jaw Size Table, BSW Tapping Drill for 65% and 100% and Clearance Drill Sizes, discusses Whitworth Thread and Pitch Sizes and Spanner Sizes.